Hi, in this video we're going to uh, let you know what's happening with Britikin and her repairs on the mast, the leaks, also with our copper coat issue that we have at the moment. And we're also going to highlight what we've been up to post Irma and how we got back into the swing of things here at the marina and what life is like. Simon and I both feel that Irma caused us quite a bit of stress mm -hmm. but she also taught us some valuable lessons on, in gratitude. Yes, most definitely. Okay, after our trip back from Bermuda, we had an issue where one of the rods had popped out the front of our sail batten and come and cut into our mast. And our mast is a carbon fiber mast and it needed repairing. Luckily, it wasn't too deep. It had mainly just taken away the surface paint and the under under seal of that. So I got a very good guy, Kurt. It's um, just down the road from here in Charleston. He went up, assessed it, and said, "Yeah, we didn't have to take the mass down. They put the under sealant back in and covered it with um, some plastic." Okay, he's up there sanding it now, and now uh, he's going to put some primer on it and then wait for tomorrow and then they're going to airbrush it and it should be all finished so it'll be a good job done okay there's the compressor and what's been happening is the guys are up there and they've been respraying it and it looks really good so they're going to put the lines back on now and then we'll be all finished doing uh eric lawrence of high and dry boat works here we just went the mass and put some uh all craft 2000 over the it and uh, should be good to go. Looks like a pretty good blend, so pretty happy with it. The forward leak, the one that's been going on for three years now, two to three years, and um, we keep finding different things. Um, we found a hole in where one of the rivets had come through, so we redid that. Still leaked. We then totally ordered a new hatch took the old one off, resealed it, I corked the anchor plate, I took the all the anchor chain out, I painted inside the anchor locker with a special epoxy paint, that didn't seem to work, we were still having problems with that, so I took the fair line off, took recorked all that because there was two holes through the bottom and that didn't work. We then where we found out that where the water was seeping through and we re fiberglass fiberglass that twice we thought we'd sorted out the leak in the front but we haven't um, so I spoke to Oyster and they suggested this I tried everything else and this is my next one I'm doing what this is is a clamshell which where, when the anchor locker fills with water the water comes out of here. I'm going to take them off on both sides and re-cork them back in. They're a bit rusty so maybe that's it. I'm, I'm thinking more likely it's the one on the other side but I'm going to do both sides. Because what Oyster told me was that this is on the same level and there's a strengthening bar which goes along here. And one oyster before has had it where the water has gone along and in and then it's found a hole. It's going to clean up around here and uh, re-cork it and uh, hopefully it'll go back in. I'm going to re-cork it with some nice white West Marine cork. Yeah, and the, when you say re-corking, are you saying in the screw holes? Yes, so I'm going to re-cork around the screws and then put them back in. Pull the boat forward so uh, I can get to it nice and easy. I've taken it off. I'm just going to start cleaning up now. In addition to doing the clamshells, I also caught the tow rail. We'll let you know next week if we finally found a solution. Let us now show you some clips about our ongoing story about the copper coat situation that we have. We had copper coat put on by a company called Bennett Brothers in North Carolina, in Wilmington. 
we paid a lot of money for it because we were hoping that it would last six to eight years that we don't have to do too much to it instead of every year getting out and repainting what is copper coat copper coat is a special coat that stops barnacles and hard stuff growing onto your bottom of the boat. It doesn't stop the soft stuff, but you can just go down there and wipe it off fairly easily. So it costs us a lot of money to get it prepped and put on. We've been here in Charleston for a year and the diver came up and says, it's just barnacles all over. So I spoke to Copper Coat, uh, Jim from Copper Coat USA, and he said, no, that's wrong. He says the Bennett Brothers have not, you paint it and then you t take you then sand it to get the copper on so you can see the copper and, and the barnacles don't like it and just don't even go and don't even get on the boat so I've spoke to Al in Bennett Brothers and he said look I'll get it back down to us we'll take it out for free we'll re-sand it and re-put it back in and I said okay great so I've been asking for emails off him to confirm it in writing and I still haven't got it I've asked him three times now and I've just got a text back well only if if this if copper coat say that it's that we didn't do a good job <laughs> so copper coat asked me to take a video uh, for about six inches away of the hull under the water so I've got the GoPro in put it in and because it's so murky I, the video isn't the greatest video but I spoke to Jim and he says yeah I can tell that they haven't done it but now Bennett Brothers are saying that they will do it for free and everything it would take a boat out, re redo it if it's their problem and they didn't do the job properly. So they've said on two separate occasions that they would do it. They would do it. And now that you're asking for it in writing. Yeah, which is always the big cruncher. They're saying, well, we've got to check with Copper Coat that we. But did. you've already talked to Copper Coat on three occasions yes. and have sent videos, and Copper Coat has verified. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're getting barnacles. And let's be really out in the open, sign. We paid $15,000 for yeah. this. That's that's take out, scrape it all back. Yeah, put but still, we're not talking $2,000. No. We're not talking $5,000. Fifteen. Yeah, closer to fifteen. And the reason we did that is because we want to go to the Pacific. We don't. We want to be able to not have to take the boat out everywhere. We can go because ours is a big boat. You can't, and can't, you can't get, always it, get out. it out. Yeah. And I want to go down there with like a you can go down there with a cloth or they're saying actually an old carpet and you rub the bottom down and it just goes clear mm -hmm. and that's what we wanted and we're supposed to get at least six years out of it we might have to take it out once and get it re-scraped re and that's why we put four coats on so we can do that and we should be able to get another four or five years out of it but so what's next what's next he's promised me Al, I just spoke to Al and he said, oh, I'm sending Copper Coat what the pictures that they did at, before the boat was put in. And um, we're just waiting on what Copper Coat say now. Okay, so does, is Al liaising with the guy that you've been talking to? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, the guy's already verified on several accounts. Yeah, that, Well, the fact that there's barnacles should let everybody know that there's a problem. Yeah. 24-hour sail up there and a 24-hour sail back up there. And while the boat's out, we can't live in it. We can't live in it. Sienna so we were, hoping, we, were, we were hoping that to go up, take it up there when we go to England. And now they're saying, well, you got to pay for when when it's not when they're not doing the work when it goes back in the water. We've got to pay for um, marina fees. Marina fees, which that uh, pissed me off. All right. Well, All right. let's see. Hopefully. The ale will stand by his word. Mm. Otherwise, it'll be all over YouTube. Yep. What does it say? Right, I just got a thing from Al. Bennett Brother Yachts will not pay any more to do the work due to the fact that we did the job as the manufacturer's spec and we sanded to their instructions. I'm not saying that. I'm only saying that I will haul and sand the bottom again, but offer no warranties past that, and do not feel that we should even do it, but to offer a good customer service. We at BBY are not in any way accepting the notion that we did not do the job correctly. Two weeks dockage at Cape Fear Marina for Britain would be $378. So they're going to take it out, they're going to put it back in, they're going to sand the bottom. And then and then charge us docking fee. That's nice. Well, good customer service that is. Yeah, I, how does that make us feel good? Yeah, mate. 
Simon and I have had a couple of long discussions this past week. After coming back from Irma, we were very stressed and um, I think we realized that we were taking life too seriously. And I think that was the case before Irma, but I think Irma maybe gave us a little bit of a, a wake up call. Yeah. Because before we left, we thought, oh my gosh, is this going to be back when we return? And while we were gone, we were stressed out. And then we came back and we were even more stressed mm -hmm. out. And I don't know, we just had a chat and said, we've got to change the way we are. Yeah, we, I think what it was all to do, we started this lifestyle to get away from the stress and everything. And we, since we've been in one place for so long, we've gone back into our old ways, I think. And we've been snapping at each other. If, what do you mean? No, no, see what I mean? <laughs> so what I've got to put up with? No. Yeah, so we've taken time out. Like this week's been, yeah. even though we there's another hurricane coming, but hopefully it's going to miss us and it looks it's looking that way. Mm -hmm. um, we've just been more chilled out. Like we go out for uh, a walk on the beach. Well, we never used to do that. And yeah, we, it's right down the street. And it's right and down the street. And you're thinking. We were thinking, why didn't we do yeah. that before? And we've been getting like a breakfast and going and finding, picking a nice spot in the and area. We found a great coffee shop. Yeah. And the other day we went to, there's this really nice walking bridge that, well, it used to be a bridge, like a car bridge, but now it's just a walking bridge for, for pedestrians. And we sat there and we had breakfast yeah. and that was beautiful. And we've taken Sienna to the beach yep. and we've gone and just drank our coffee at the beach. Yeah. We've taken some more walks. And, and we're laughing more. Yeah. Yeah, because like you say, the whole reason we did this was to not be stressed. <laughs> not be stressed, and, um, and it's going back into our old, our old habits. When before we had the boat, and we were living in the house, and we were working a lot and everything. So, you know, I think a lot of times people think, oh, they've got it made. They're on a boat. Yeah, mm -hmm. they have to fix things, but they're living the dream. But you still have a balance. There is still a work-life balance. Exactly. Yeah. And I think previous to Irma and throughout Irma, we've been working way too hard. Yeah. And not taking the time out. And we've got two beautiful pools right up the dock from us. And this past week, we've swam in them like three or four times. Yeah. Whereas previously, we'd go once a week, if that. If that. Yeah. I'm just going to stop you working. You keep trying to work all night, though. And the fact is, I've got internet, whereas in the past three years, I've had to go find bars and it's been so hard. So I'm in this mentality of, oh, I, I gotta get everything done I know, before but they... we start sailing again. But... Yeah, you know what? I think this my workaholic mentality mm. has really come back. <laughs> I think it has. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, yeah, more chilled out. Yeah. As far as Sienna's concerned, she's gone right back into her normal routine. She's going back to school and she's been playing with her friend Lily who comes over. Who do you got? I have no idea. Hey Lily. So what's in there? Oh, you know what? Did Brad really um, package it up? Kind of like your treasure hunt thing where it yeah. took forever to get into it? Yeah. Can you read what the little letter is that you got sent? Ooh! We've sent you some friends for you. Some to friends. Play with. I have <gasps> named two of them for you. The clownfish is named Bonzo, and the crab is named Citizen Snipes. <laughs> you you name the rest. I see all um sea creatures. Oh, what do you got there? They're like uh, ink. Just yeah, there, I, there's some of them. Brad was very kind. And Sherry. And Sherry. Oh, wait, what's this guy's name? McDuckin? McDuckin? Are we, do we need to write these names down? Will you remember McDuckin. them? McDuckin. McDuffin. McDuffin? Yeah. I'm your name. Hi, I'm McDuffin. <laughs> Miss Froggy, Miss Froggy. Ooh, Miss, Miss Froggy. Froggy, that's a good one. Yeah. Okay, well, I want to see a, a tour of the fort. Whoa! Did you guys do this yourselves? Yeah. Wow! You can see I was making something. Yeah? Yeah. <gasps> okay. Oh, look at that! Oh! Oh! Legos. 
Legos. You just need sarongs. Yeah? And I think we lost a tooth less the, the, this past week. So what happened today, Sienna? I lost my tooth. You I did. How does it feel to lose you? It feels weird. Oh wow, no, that's a tiny little tooth. And Sienna and I have been taking some time out too. We, there's probably a thousand or thousands of butterflies that are flying through Charleston right now and it's just quite extraordinary. Yeah. So Sienna and I spent a whole hour the other day just looking at them and we took a couple videos and... What's the difference between butterflies and moths? Yeah, yeah we had all these questions so I found a really cool like kind of learning pack um, online and Sienna and I have been doing that. So that's been really cool. So yeah. I feel like we're spending a little bit more time with her too, which is really what yeah. we should be doing. Yeah, we should be. So Sienna and I have been walking along and... It took us an hour to get through this. <laughs> we're not getting very far because there's all these beautiful... Beautiful creatures. Yeah, we've got butterflies, we got moths. We even saw a big black snake, but we didn't really want to stay for that. It's like they're all like they don't care about each other getting in each other's ways. Yeah, like this one. And aside from all that, Simon and I have been busy visiting with friends. Yes. We've had uh, people visit us, which is really always nice. Mm -hmm. And we've also said goodbye some, to some good friends, our friends Jeff and Tammy. They were liveaboards here for the past year, so we said goodbye to them. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Right. We're saying goodbye to Roxy right now, aren't we, Sienna? We're not going to see her for a while until we sail into Florida one day and then we can see her again. You know, one of those weeks, like we yep, you're going to come visit us for sure. Oh, we had a well, big old roller. Bye. Bye guys, we're going to miss you. Safe passage. And that's their sailboat right there directly behind me. Those guys are sailing down to Florida. So uh, we've been with them for the last year and it's always sad to see liveaboards go. Jeff and Tammy, you will be very missed. And I almost forgot Roxy. Roxy, you will be very, very missed. We all love you very much. This past week, uh, well actually you helped me. I have some new sarongs that I put into our Etsy shop. Mm -hmm. uh, sarongs are like long towels, um, very light to towels, like almost like very thin material and you can tie them up. Um, women wear them as dresses, skirts, you can use it as a beach towel. Sienna, <laughs> she makes forts out of sarongs. So I've got some new sarongs in my Etsy store. So Simon took some pictures of me wearing the sarongs. Mm -hmm. And um, we also have some new t-shirts too. So there's four new, I believe there's four new men's t-shirts and a, a few new women's t-shirts in the store. So if you need a present for yourself or for somebody that you love, yep. Uh, please visit our store. It's all nautically themed stuff. Yes, it is. And the proceeds go to helping us continue to make videos, videos. and to educate and to hopefully help you learn from our mistakes or learn from our knowledge so it's not such a massive learning curve for that we've experienced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our plan is to head to the Caribbean after hurricane season. If you'd like to see more videos about our liveaboard lifestyle, future voyages, marina reviews, and more, make sure to subscribe to our channel and check out our links below. If you're interested in buying a boat and haven't yet requested my free 37-page guide, How to Buy a Boat Without Getting Screwed, click here to download it now. When buying a boat, it truly is buyer beware. More often than not, I receive emails from extremely disappointed and disgruntled boat owners. In many cases, the boat buyer got ripped off, and in other cases, the buyer simply bought the wrong boat for what they wanted to achieve. Get this free guide, and you'll have access to 10 steps to getting the right boat for the right price.